and welcome to today's diary entry. Today, once again, I am joined by the beautiful Miss Melissa, aka Mel's Makeup 88. Once again, click on her beautiful face right now if you want to go check out her video. I will be talking about my top five, we will be talking about our top five highlighters and then her channel, you're going to be checking out your top five bronzers. Bronzers. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're going to continue on. This is the this is probably going to be the last time we do a video together, and then after that, we're going to be just filming it on our own. But we'll be doing the collab together. So I'll be linking down in the description box below where you can click so you can check out her video. So without further ado, shall we get started? Let's get started. All right. So I'm gonna kick it off with my with the liquid highlight. So this is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer, and this is they actually recently changed the packaging, but it, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. How I like to use this guy is I like to put it in with my foundation and then apply it, especially in the summer. It looks so beautiful when the sun catches your skin. It looks radiant and flawless. I really love the finishing touch on this because I have dry skin. If you had oily skin, I'm not sure that I would recommend doing that. But how I also like to use it is when I'm going out at night to make sure that my highlighter stays in place, I put this on first and then on top I would put my powder highlighter. And it definitely locks it in place and it will not move and I love this guy. So I just recently got into highlighters. I wasn't a fan prior because I have really oily skin as it is and I was a little bit afraid of them. But I reached out of my comfort zone and now I can't get enough. So I really only have five highlighters. So I'm going to talk to you about the only five highlighters that I have. Okay, <laughs> so the first one is the first highlighter that I ever picked up. And this is the Too Faced Radiant Glow Face Powder Sweetheart Beads. Such long titles, I swear. This, I think, has already been discontinued. So I'm so sorry if you can't find it. You might be able to find it on Hope, Hope Look or something like that. Oh, yeah. But it's in a little box like this and you open it up and it's the little beads. So they're individual beads that are different colors. There's like a bronze one, a pink one, an orange one, a yellow one. And when you swirl your brush across all of it and you brush it on your face, it gives you just this beautiful, like subtle highlight. If you wanted to focus on a specific color, you could pick just those couple of beads and swirl it. It's just such a cool idea and it's so pretty like it makes beautiful Instagram pictures because so <laughs> the little beads are shaped like hearts. So this was my first found love and I still really like it. Okay, so my next highlighter is, I'm sure you've heard of this one, it's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I really like this one because I can multitask with it. I like to use it in my inner corner on my tear duct. I like to use it as highlight on my brow bone, but I also love it on nights when I'm going out at night because it's so strong on my skin tone um, as highlighter. So I really like this guy. The only thing flaw that I don't like about this packaging is that it comes off. So that's the only flaw that I have, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I've actually taken it out and put it on a Z palette before. I've used it like that and it, it doesn't matter what the packaging is like. This is everything. Like it is so <laughs> crazy strong you can see that it's crazy but I really really like this um, highlighter I've had it for gosh like a little over a year but I try not to use it too much I didn't get into highlighters until like about six months ago I would say that's my <sighs> just didn't know how to use them at first I felt like they were too much but now that I know exactly how and to blend them and put them on I absolutely love them. Okay, next up I have the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. Bobbi Brown makes these in like five or six different colors. This one is in the pink quartz color. It is a little bit of a rosy tone, like pinkish, but I have cool undertones, so it works perfect for me. It's not too pink to where it looks like blush. Um, it's still definitely a highlighter. I like it because there's different strips of color, and you can mix them all together, and it's just this beautiful highlight shade. I like this because there isn't any like huge chunks of glitter in it. It really is just like the simplest shimmer all over, and um, yeah, I think I use this one more than the Too Faced one, so I don't know, but I do like it. I bet it goes with your pink undertones, though. Yeah, it does. Bet you anything. Yeah, that, I would never be able to pull that off. <laughs> but that's funny. She, you have that. Mine is by my next one is by Bobbi Brown, and it's the Apricot one. I believe that this is a discontinued product. I got it at my local CCO, which is why 
I'm assuming it is. I looked for it on Sephora.com and I didn't find it. So I'm so sorry, but I just want to let you know that Bobbi Brown Shimmer Break highlighters are amazing. I This one is a little bronzy, but I really like to put it on top of a bronzer, not putting on blush. So when I use this one, I like to skip out on the blush and just use it on top of my bronzer. And it looks so beautiful and radiant. I love this highlighter. Bobbi Brown for, um, Bobbi Brown highlighters are where it's Good at. Good stuff. Definitely. Okay, my next highlighter is by the brand Hourglass. So this is their ambient lighting palette. Um, one of these I use as a setting powder. So this comes with dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. The radiant light is kind of the same color as the apricot highlighter that you were just talking about. But um, I like the one in the middle to use as a highlighter. So this is incandescent light. They do sell this on its own if you just wanted to buy like the pan and not the whole like palette all together mm -hmm. but I like this because it's a very very subtle highlighter like if you wanted to highlight the inner corner of your eyes or like your brow bone or just like a very subtle cheek highlight this is perfect it's not too over the top there's no shimmer there's no glitter it's just that ambient lighting like swirl that uh, hourglass powders have it just Oh, there's something about it. I love it so 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 much. It is very handy that it comes in a palette because then you can have like all of them together But um, all of the hourglass powders are amazing whether you use them as a setting powder or a highlighter. They're just Really good yeah. stuff. So my next one is by Laura Geller. I'm sure you've heard tons about this highlighter It recently came out and it's the gelato swirl and gilded honey this color though, oh my gosh, they nailed it by putting this product out right before summer. It is so beautiful. I feel like it complements my skin tone very well, but they also came out with a pinky lighter tone one. It's kind of similar to the Mary Luminizer, but it's got a little bit of that pink tone underneath. It's so beautiful. It lasts all day. I swear, I swear by this. I haven't been able to put it down ever since I got it, so... Laura Geller, Gilded Honey. Okay, next up I have two of the same brand. So this is number four and number five for me. Uh, these are Becca highlighters. Becca highlighters are amazing. They are super expensive. I think they're like $45 or something crazy yeah. like that. But it is totally worth a splurge if you are a highlighter person because the formula of these is just like so smooth and so soft and so like buttery. And it yeah. just blends into your skin and it just like almost like fuses to your skin it's it's crazy to explain I you just have to go swatch them if you haven't <laughs> swatched them before I have two so I have the color champagne pop that just came out by uh, Jaclyn Hill she made this one and then I have moonstone I like moonstone better than champagne pop but I do like them both so moonstone is like a lighter color this might be too light for somebody of like your skin tone yeah uh just because it is so fair and so light yeah that's a little bit I more i feel like it than... compares to the Slightly. mary luminizer is yeah what i've been told before that's why i never got it but this one is kind of like a white gold it has like a a golden but like a white gold finish to it. it has silver definitely and this one i'm wearing today i just i can't get enough of it i wear it almost every single day it's probably my favorite <laughs> and then like favorite of all five and then i have champagne pop i know you guys are probably tired of hearing about champagne pop this one is a little bit intense for me but it's still very pretty this one is more of like a rosy peachy gold mm -hmm. and this is like if i want to freaking glisten like a shining star <laughs> I will use this one because it's just so strong, but it is super pretty. Um, I've worn it a few times and it looks really pretty in pictures and videos. It just comes yeah. off so beautifully. Um, yeah, Jacqueline did a really good job at like formulating this color. Yeah, I actually, I have Champagne Pop, but I've yet to try it because I've been so busy with my other highlighters, uh, like the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I've been busy with Gilded Honey and I've also been busy with Opal. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, Opal is my favorite. Now I can see why Jacqueline was raving about this product left and right. Mm -hmm. I stinking love it. It's kind of strong. Opal's like the middle. Uh, so there's Moonstone and then there's Opal and then there's Champagne Pop. That's probably one, like... If they made a baby, it came out as Opal. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. swear, I'm not even kidding you. But it's just the most perfect color. I feel like it complements every skin tone. 
as far as a highlight. I really, really like it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't really played around with Champagne Pop because I've been busy with these two. But this one for me right now is everything. I really, really like it. Okay, so that is all we have for you for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out Mel's video. And You'll see our favorite bronzer. Yes. I will have it linked down below. And yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. I'll catch you on my next diary entry. And until next time, mas